Go. So probably what the fourth, fifth time that we've asked you. Yes, he's playing. Ready. Yes, he's playing. <laughs> Charlie's playing and Travis is playing, so it's great news for us. So how do you deal with selection when you've had? I the will. Team that was so good the week before? Yeah, clearly um, both boys um, are really important to us structurally and. Um, you know, culturally, they've been really good. Uh, we look forward to them um, coming in and playing their roles. Charlie obviously will come in and play forward, so young Ollie will probably um, end up missing out. But we've thought he might have missed out a couple of times in a row, and Charlie's not quite got the line. But at this stage, I'm really confident that Charlie and Trevor are going to take the field. Will be a bit hard up for uh, match fitness? Uh, yeah, Charlie perhaps, yeah, certainly. But he does. I mean, he, he trains pretty hard. He's He keeps himself in great shape, so it's not, not going to be... A, Big issue for him. He's um, he's just more around contest. That'll be his, his bigger challenge. He hasn't been in contest for probably a month, and that will. But that's why it's important to us get those games into him. And uh, you know, we've got a couple of big games in the next two weeks. We need him right. So how's Lysak? Because you managed him last week. How's he placed for this week? Yeah, he's in. Obviously, he's in great great shape for this week, based on the fact that we took him out with about 40 minutes to go last week. So we're very very much aware of it, that English has been in great form, and that Scott's got a big job and. Uh, we need to make sure we gave him the best chance, and that certainly has given him the best chance. So you can go from start to finish? Are you confident he can play the full game? Yeah, we were last week. We, we made a, a decision last week based on where the game was at and what we were doing, and we were comfortable enough to know that um, Scott, when he's freshest, is when we get it, get the best Scott. Oh, it's more about us than, than what, what the Bulldogs are. So we, Scott knows his role for us is really, really important and he knows what he needs to do for our midfield. So, uh, and, and clearly we're aware of the opposition's best players and English has probably been as good as anyone for them. Where did you identify that nine about English that, you know, what's the key to, to stopping him? Oh, look, he's, he's like an extra mid in some ways. He, he can really cover the ground well. He's not a, a traditional ruckman as such where he's just big and and strong in the contest, he can do all sorts of things. So yeah, look, it's, it's just around Scott knowing the role he's got. He, look, he's taken on a couple of big roles in the last few weeks for us, and we're really comfortable if he can handle Gorn and Grundy and, and Nankervis and, and, and two Ruckman last week that we think he can get the job done again for us. If you were in the cheap seats, how would you view the battle of the two midfields? How do you think that's built up now between those yours and the Western Bulldogs? Uh, they're two pretty good midfields, is what I would say. They, they, you know, they've got some outstanding players in their midfield, and, and we've got some emerging young players plus some experienced players in there. So um, we feel like that we're, we're capable of going against the Bulldogs, and, and I'm sure they think, think the same of us. Who comes out for both? Uh, yeah, we'll work our way through that, and uh, we'll get through everything today. But there'll be a couple of changes. Um, clearly, um, you know, we think. We're certain we want to play Sin for a full game as well, so there'll be a couple of changes that need to be made. And um, the reality is uh, uh, Ryan Burton will come out, will be one. I'm trying to think of him off the top of my head. And uh, I think Riley Bonner would be the other that will come out. Take three Burton. Can you take three Burton? Ah, uh, yeah, we're in pretty good form and we've got some really good form players and we've got some, some high quality players coming back into the side. So I think we've been pretty consistent, I think, that we're, um, we're based selection on, on performance and Ryan, by his own admission and by ours, has been a little bit down on, and we've mixed him around a little bit, we've played him forward and back, but we think that the flexibility that Travis brings us back into the team allows us to make some different changes. So where's Tom Jones sit at the moment? Same as everyone, he's in, um, <clears throat> you know, he's, he's, I thought he played really well last week in, in the Magpies, again, team's in pretty good nick and we've got some people coming back that we think need to come immediately back in the team. Our back line's been our strongest performing area from being pretty clear. I think there've been some emerging young players down there doing some incredibly good jobs. I mean, whether that be Jones, Farrell, Dan Houston, you know, there's some, there's some good players, Miles Bergman, there's been some good young players playing some strong footy and that's what's happening down there and they're, they're keeping some really experienced players out. So you feel that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we should. And he's been our captain and he's um, been a great player for this footy club for a long time. Just, just because he misses a week or two, you know, that doesn't, doesn't send any other message other than you need to play well to get back in. Can you build this winning run on strong defence with pressure tackling, pressure at the opposition? You come against a team with the best free kick differential. You don't have that on your record. So do you have to be wary about the way you're going to tackle the Bulldogs? No. I mean, tackle in the sense that they're tackling your tackling skills against them? No, we, I mean, we need, everyone needs to be wary of tackling skills currently with, with the dangers that come with, with dangerous tackling. So we, we, we're very mindful. And the whole competition's had a good period of time to adjust that. I think we're um, you know, collectively putting good pressure on, but so are the Bulldogs. So, I mean, it's going to be a pretty good game. Drafting's been so great over the last few years. Josh is probably the one that hasn't quite 
Clean run. Has he turned we hope so. I mean, because he just hasn't had an opportunity to be fit, and uh, we've we've given him a great chance this year. With our conditioning team and medical team, have done an outstanding job to get him back to a spot now that we think that he's got a hopefully got, in your words got a clear run at it, and he gets a chance to show what he can possibly. I think he makes us a potentially a much much better team, but you know he's got a long way to go. Should Lysette uh, go down at any stage? Is your next man up? Is it Sam or Dante? Ah, uh, well, it could be Jeremy. Could be Charlie. Could be Lordy. There's a few people that could be, that could be, and we've shown in the past that we mix and match a little bit. So there's no lock to Dante or Sam. It's just more around what we need at the time. Well, Ken, this winning streak began with your club's premiership captain saying things were untenable here. Now he's saying Port will finish top four, perhaps top two. Is that an admission he got it wrong? No, no, I don't. Look, I don't buy. As I said, I've said this before. I don't buy into our external opinions. I buy into internal. Thoughts, and that's what we need to worry about. I get that in in the business of commentary, that there always needs to be a week to week comment, and and that can sometimes change quite quickly. And we're we're certainly not a a team that's going to say, "Oh, we told you so." We're not not going to act like that. We're going to be we get we're in a position at that stage where we weren't going great. We've certainly turned that around. We want to keep that turnaround going, and we don't want to get distracted by anything. What did you like from what you saw in that time you seen last week? Oh, I think he's got power and speed that plays AFL football, and I'm. You know, Jones is the same. I think they, you know, we're, I think across the team now we'd be quite quick, and that's certainly something that, that we, as a coaching group, like. We like to have speed on the floor, and um, you know, he, he certainly brings a little bit of that too. And he's a, you know, he's a really high talented player. When we looked at him in the draft, and we think not just that, but he's got, you know, he's got enough um, footy knowledge that we think he'll help us become a better team. Yeah, no, not so much for the, for, the, for the Oval or anything like that. It's more around what we, we're trying to get hold of and what we want to grow our team. We've got a couple of games to go before the bye. And, you know, that you've got to make some decisions sometimes around minutes that you need players to play and want to play. And, and then some of that is um, reflected in the way we've selected this week. We just want to make sure we get some good AFL minutes into Josh Sin as quick as we can and see where, where that goes. That doesn't mean he's a lock for our team for the, for the remainder of the year. It just means we get a good opportunity to have a look against high quality. Okay, Hang on. Sorry? Go straight into the rotation? Uh, maybe, maybe not, <laughs> depending on what's going on in the game. I mean, Scott, Scott will ruck first, and then we'll use, obviously, a, a collection of, of Jeremy and, and Charlie, depending on what's going on. Can the venues become like a home away from home for him? Why is that? Why is Marvel work for him? Don't know. I really don't know. We, we just, we've played good football there. We've, look, we've, this year we've played good football pretty well from round three, and I think before round three, my personal view, I think we've played pretty good football consistently through the whole season. We've won, you know, we've won in Sydney, we've won in Tasmania, we've won in Melbourne, you know, we've, whether, we've won at the MCG and we've won at Marvel, so I just think at the moment, every club has these different runs and we try to talk too much into them, I think, sometimes. No, not this week, but I uh, loved what he brought in his first game to the club and um, you, know, you can see his, his enthusiasm for a second chance and we look forward to um, you know, get him, giving him that opportunity to show at AFL what he can do at some stage in the future. You must have loved Tom's attitude in terms of going back, obviously getting the uh, J-Mac Guernsey this week. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a, a, a clear sign as to why he's been our captain for a long period of time. He just does the right thing for the football club at all times, it's never about time, and that's what we've loved about him all the way through. Do you feel for him? Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do, because I know how much Tom wants to play. And he's a proud man, and um, you know, he's really important to this football club, and has been, and, and rightly. He, um, you know, he's been regarded as one of our best, and hopefully that, that, that comes back to him pretty quick.